Hello guys, what's up? This is Jersey Jacob. If you find anything helpful today, all I ask you to do is subscribe, click that red button. So today I want to talk to you about if I can have five tips to give you as to creating a rap album. I think that <clears throat> most definitely, number one, you should plan everything out. You should always have a plan. Um, nothing has to be concrete or set in stone. You don't have to say exactly, but get a rough idea. For example, how many songs you're going to do, how long you want it to be in terms of minutes, how long you want each song to be, each verse, uh, how long you know you want to give other people if you're featuring them for this album, and you know how long you want to wait to put it up in stores if that's what you're going to do. Like uh, sometimes when you upload, for example, in DistroKid, you have to wait a certain time before you can get the benefits of getting reposted on a playlist or the chance of the algorithm picking you up. So I recently uh, just submitted a six song EP slash album and they said that the best practice for you to get on maybe a Spotify playlist is to upload your song one month in advance to make sure that people uh, who are you know, looking for new music get time to see your stuff. And, and that's how somewhat it works. I don't understand completely, but that's how you should do it. So definitely, first of all, plan everything out, how many songs versus everything get it all into pieces of paper i usually just think about it and then i don't even write it down number two is to imitate your favorite artists so if you notice you know a lot of people that are, are in the music industry that are very prominent such as like j Cole and drake and kendrick they have projects that usually go on to be a long time you know, like um, music listening. So like, if you if you listen to Born Sinner, there's a lot of tracks on there. Uh, 2014 Forest Hills Drive, there's a lot of tracks on there. Take Care, there's a lot of tracks on there. Um, this is not to say that you have to imitate that, but remember that the quality of your tracks and the, you know, the set, like how everything comes together into this these albums that you're trying to share with the world matters as well. Uh, I can listen to Take Care all day, even today, even though it dropped how many years ago? Seven, eight? I don't know exactly the amount, but uh, it's been a long time. So imitate your favorite artists and try to replicate what they do. And third of all, is third tip is don't procrastinate because I see, you know, a lot of artists, I, I interact a lot on Reddit and SoundCloud with other artists. And one thing that I notice is that people want to be, uh, you know, waiting. They want to wait like a year to drop an album. And I can see from a marketing standpoint why that's a good idea. Like you want to put all your money into it, but I think that you should be creating more and not procrastinating. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm just gonna wait for this or like, how, how are you gonna exchange your time? How are you going to, instead of, you know, watching Netflix for 10 hours, how about you go and do another album? And that way you could release that album, instead of a year, you could release that in a month and then the next month you have another album ready to go. So don't procrastinate. I believe that we live in a time where technology allows us to put out more content than ever and I personally believe that the more content that you have is the way to win. Again, going back to imitating other artists, one thing that people don't really think about is that our favorite artists, like the ones who have legacy and permanence in our minds and our hearts are the ones that consistently drop music and consistently are working on their craft, consistently delivering something new, fresh, not waiting, you know, all the time, whether it's through features, like J. Cole ran through the features, like this year alone, you know, and some of last year, but Drake is, he said it himself, um, that he's leading the game in points, but man, look at his assist. Stop this video right now. Look at Drake's discography 
and look and see how many um, songs he has since like 2006. Go on YouTube. Since 2006, Drake has dropped over at least 300 songs that you can probably listen to at least 275 over and over and over again. So that's my third tip. Um, don't procrastinate and remain consistent. Uh, number four is persevere. I know it sounds corny. I know it sounds cheesy, but I have days, for example, where I just don't want to, I feel like I don't want to make music, not because I don't love music, but it feels like I could go be doing something else. And then I have to reevaluate, like, is this, you know, worth my time instead of what I want to achieve with this music? Can I instead, you know, of procrastinating and waiting and not doing anything, can I persevere in my music and get better? Is there a skill I need to learn? Do I need to learn how to play the piano or the guitar in order to produce my own beats because I don't want to pay 30 for it for each lease? I don't know. But perseverance is definitely important because like with anything, if you want a six pack, you want to graduate as a lawyer, you got to get up and go every single day. You got to get up to the gym every single day do your cardio, do your workouts. You want to be a lawyer, you got to get up and do them classes. Because if you don't, then you're falling behind. Falling behind on yourself. And this ain't a race against anybody but yourself. So you have to persevere, especially in the hard times. I know that sometimes the most unfortunate of events happen. And it's okay not to always be there. But just know that overall, in the, in the macro of it all, that you have to be aware that you have a goal in mind and something you persevere for. And that goes for anything in life. Anything that you want in life, you have to persevere and go at it every single day, every single moment, every single breath. Because if you don't, then you're not manifesting exactly what you want to happen. My fifth tip overall is collaborate with other artists. I know it's cool to say, um, yeah, J. Cole went double platinum, no features. Yes, woo. Yeah, that's cool and all, but if you really want an album to come out as soon as possible, why don't you collaborate with some artist in your city or online, go on the subreddit, making hip hop or anywhere, literally go on Google, where can I find an artist? You don't have to pay any money. Find someone who you know is dedicated and start working with them and and you can create something great and quickly and you don't know what you would build off of that. But not only will you be able to, you know, merge your fan bases, but as well as you create a relationship. I have a, a lot of artists, you know, my friends that I grew up with and I collaborate with them all the time and they do spectacularly on, you know, on my tracks. And I, I appreciate that because I know I don't have to do it all by myself. We're literally in the age of the internet where we have to help each other. We should help each other. Collaborate with other people and you'll watch how how easy it is to grow. But remember, what's hard about it is remaining consistent and doing it always. So if I could sum all of this up, um, I would like to say, plan it out to imitate other artists. I don't know what the third one is. Four, persevere and five, collaborate. So if you found any of this information helpful, please click like, thumbs up, smash that like button, and subscribe. Comment below what you think is the best way to make an album or what you think is a good tip. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jersey Jacob.